Hey YouTube, it's Sharice here and as you can see I'm nice and oily face today. I haven't touched up my makeup at all today, but honestly this really isn't too bad of oil production for me. Like, I'm obviously greasy, oil slick looking, but this is not as bad as my face normally gets. As you can see I am super shiny. I took a nap. Um, I've had this makeup on since 8 a.m. basically and now it's almost 6 p.m. And I'm gonna do a get unready with me. Yes, I'm not going to bed, but I want to show you the process that I take to take off my makeup. I'm actually about to get in the shower, wash my hair, and get ready to go to a shindig get together at my boyfriend's house and go stop by Starbucks. And I need to get money out for church tomorrow. So let's get started. The first thing I do when it comes to taking off my makeup is I like to use a wipe. My favorite wipes are from Burt's Bees. I love all of their kinds of wipes, but my favorite, favorite, most favorite kind from them are the gently exfoliate cleanse and tone in one easy step peach and willow bark facial cleansing wipes and these are 99.2 percent natural and they look like this these are pretty expensive i feel they're expensive there's only 25 in here and i'm pretty sure this is like eight dollars but i do love these they work really well for my skin and i noticed that when i just use these alone on my lazy days any bumps i have go are visibly smaller the next day only using these wipes not using anything else when i'm super lazy i'll just use a wipe and go to sleep but i'm gonna show you my full get ready with me routine that i do most days of the week i would say five out of seven days a week I do this whole routine so I take the wipe and I just go in and I remove my makeup with the wipe first as you can see it comes off quite easily start with the wipe I always go in with a wipe first and I like to use one side as much as I can before I flip it over and use the other side like these little corners of the wipe you see I'm focusing that around my edges and on my eyelashes to get off this mascara and then I'll flip to the other side of the wipe and do some further wiping. Make sure you get under your chin. I tend to neglect that area when I'm cleansing my face. You see I'm wiping around my edges. I'm wiping over my ears as well. I wipe my lips. This just gets off as much. I'm trying to get off as much as possible with this first step. So as you can see, these wipes do a pretty good job. You can see that most of the makeup on the surface is off. I still have a little bit on my um, eyelashes, the eye area. All I have on is mascara today. And mascara usually is the hardest thing to come off for me. So, yeah. That's step one, use a makeup wipe. Step two would be to cleanse the face. And we're going to do a first impression slash demo on a new device that I got in the mail today and that would be this Vanity Planet Ultimate Skin Spa. Hopefully y'all can see that. This is the packaging that it comes in, the case that it comes in. It has three different brush heads, a daily cleansing brush, an exfoliating brush, and a silicone brush. I have not used this yet. I did put the batteries in it though so that we could use it um, in this video. The only thing I don't like about those wipes is that I still have makeup on my hands and I don't want to get makeup on my new device. So I'm just going to wipe my hands in the bathtub. I'm going to wet everything over in the tub because I have this set up on my sink area. So we're going to take some lovely Dial soap. This is their seasonal collection Paradise Limeade. It smells beautiful for spring and summer. Take a couple pumps of that. And I'm going to go wash my hands. You guys are going to hear me washing my hands. All right. 
Now that my hands are clean, I feel comfortable touching my device and touching my face further. When it comes to cleansers at night, there's two specific cleansers that I like best for nighttime, two slash three. I have two that I like using day, morning or night, and then there's one that I like to use for night only. The one that I specifically like using at night is the Glam Glow Youth Cleanse Mud to Foam Cleanser. You guys have heard me talk about these and do a review on these. Love, love, love this cleanser specifically for night. This is the Youth Cleanse Daily Exfoliating Daily Exfoliating Cleanser. I like this for nighttime. At night, I also like to use the Exfoliate and Nourish Coconut Oil Scrub from St. Ives because the oil in it is really good at removing makeup and the oil I feel like it really nourishes my skin overnight and helps to rejuvenate it in the morning. So sometimes I'll use this. This has actually been my go-to as of late. This is the one I've been using the most. As you can see, it is almost empty. I have like a third left in there. And lastly, sometimes I'll use my face, uh, my Soap and Glory Face Soap and Clary 3-in-1 Daily Detox Vitamin C Facial Wash. Such a long name. I love this stuff too. I love it for the morning and at night, but I mostly like to use this one in the morning. Today, since we're trying out a new brush, I want to see how it does with, let's go drugstore. Both of these you can find at the drugstore, Face and Glory and St. Ives. So we will go drugstore. We will put Glam Glow back away. This is $39 for, I believe this is six ounces, if I'm not mistaken five ounces so this is really expensive but it works really well for my skin with preventing acne and just helping my skin out so that was my dad's one of my dad's birthday gifts to me back in December and I just started using it not too long ago so they last me a while because I rotate them with other cleansers that's my advice if you're gonna splurge on high-end skincare have a few really good staple drugstore skincare items that you can kind of rotate so you don't have to repurchase your high-end as much we're gonna go in with because I'm about to put makeup on and get ready, we're going to go in with the Face and Glory. Why well, am I going to say Face and Glory? Soap and Glory 3-in-1 <laughs> Daily Detox Vitamin C Facial Wash. And this does have little exfoliating beads in it. And we are going to use the regular cleansing brush. This is what the Ultimate Skin Spa brush looks like. It's battery operated, two AA batteries that are not included. You push the button. And as you can see, it turns on and it starts spinning. It's kind of loud. Oh, so there's two different settings. You can do slow and you can do fast. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna use the brush that comes on it. I'm just going to moisten the brush and then we'll get started with washing and cleansing my face. I'm excited. <laughs> So I've moistened the bristles and when I was reading the instruction it says you're supposed to moisten your face but most of the time I don't moisten my moisten my face before I use my cleansers um, I just go right in and it says to apply your cleanser directly to the brush so that's what we're doing I put a ring around the brush and I'm just gonna put it on my face before I turn it on because I don't want it to fly everywhere and I have it on slow setting there we go faster Let's just see how this works. I can already see the dirt. You see how it's still brown? The suds are brown. That means I still have dirt on my face. Oh, wow. So basically, this does all the scrubbing for me. I have a manual facial brush that I normally use, but it's nice not to have to use my hands. Well, you can see all that dirt that's still in there, all that makeup that's still on my face. But I have brown, the suds are. You can use this in the shower. That's probably the most ideal place. But for the purposes of this video, we're going to be using it outside. First thing I want to say is that this brush is really, really, really soft. Oops. Did you hear that drop down? All right. So, oh gosh, I'm going to turn it off. 
Look how dirty that is. Can y'all see that? There we go. You see how brown that is? Nasty, dirty. So I'm gonna rinse this off. And then with the product that's still on my face, I'm gonna cleanse some more. I just rinse the brush head and I'm going in some more. I've got water in my right eye. This one's very gentle. I would suggest this brush, look at this, I'm getting suds everywhere. This brush is very gentle. I think this would be great for sensitive skin. I don't have sensitive skin. That's my first impression. I'm gonna rinse the brush again. Oh gosh. And normally I would splash water to rinse my face off, but I'm going to use a cleansing cloth. And you'll see that I'll go over my eyes to get off any other eye makeup or mascara. In the morning I typically use a cleansing cloth. And wow, a lot of more makeup has come off. I'm going to show you guys this cleansing cloth. And I'm a double cleanser, so we're about to use that brush again. And I think I'm going to switch to the exfoliating head because... I'm an, a daily exfoliator kind of person. I like to really scrub my face. You can see all that mascara has come down under my eye. All right, so look how much makeup was still left on my face that I wiped off with the cleansing cloth. That's a lot of makeup still on my face. I'm gonna rinse the brush again Actually, I'm going to switch brush heads to the exfoliating one. And yeah, this kind of throws suds all over the place if you do it outside of your shower. So I would recommend using this in your shower. Let's rinse this brush one more time. I'm gonna cleanse this brush as well. I'll wash it, but it was very easy. You just pop it off. So I'm gonna set that over here so I now need to clean it. Now I'm gonna go in with the exfoliating brush, which has a darker circle in the middle, as you can see, it has a black circle. You just pop it on, very easy. And let's go in again with the same face wash. I'm just gonna wet this. I'm gonna put a less product on the brush this time, just a little bit. There we go, a drizzle. Put this back in my shower. And let's do a second cleanse. So now I'm using the exfoliating brush, and oh yeah, this one is way more firm, and this is more my style. Oh yeah, I can definitely get down with this brush. You don't need to press very hard with this to get the exfoliating effect at all. I feel like this is really cleaning though because of how it's scrubbing my face. This probably isn't good to use if you have open acne on your face, which is another reason why they include the silicone brush. I don't have any open pimples. I just have this one right here that's old, but it's starting to go away. All right, so yeah. I like to do my lips too. And you can see that most of the dirt is out because when we look at the bristles, it's pretty white still. You see how it's not brown? That's a sign that my face is pretty much clean. Oh yeah, I'm loving this brush. I love this exfoliating brush. This is, wow, loving it.
All right, so I'm gonna go rinse the brush, come back and do another scrub. <laughs> And I paid for this with my own money. Oh yes, I really like this one. As you can see, water is kind of flying everywhere. That's okay though. I'm gonna go down on my neck a little bit. Oh wow, there's some makeup I didn't get off. Down on the neck area. Mmm. All right, so you see that? Look how brown that is. So I had some makeup on my neck area that I get off, but that's okay because I'm about to get in the shower so I can get the rest off. Um, so that's important. When you're washing your face, make sure you get your whole face and down your neck because you never know what kind of dirt might be lurking there. <laughs> Yet again, I'm gonna take my little cleansing cloth and I'm gonna use the other side now that we haven't used, that is clean, to wipe the suds from my face. Before we move on to the next two steps, I'm just gonna wipe my neck. I am about to get in the shower, so I'm about to wash my neck further in the shower. Don't worry, I'm not gonna leave it dirty, y'all. I'm about to get a shower and wash my hair, but I'm gonna show you guys how I typically rub my makeup um, this would probably take me no more than 10 minutes without all the talking and having to go to the tub and rinse, you know, everything in the tub and not being able to splash my face with water and having to get my cloth. So after my face is cleansed, which I wash and replace my cloth every day and I'm going to wash these brushes every day so that they last longer and so that they're clean because what's the point of having a cleaning brush, but it's a dirty cleaning brush, like it doesn't make sense to me. So I'm actually just going to take the um, handle, which is a little damp, but fine. I'm going to put it back in there and I'm going to take these three things, the cleansing cloth and the two brush heads. I'm going to wrap them up and put them to the side so I know I need to wash them. All right, so my face feels really good. And now it's time to tone. I love to use the Dickinson's Original Witch Hazel on a cap around after I have removed all my makeup at night before I go to bed. So I'm just getting a cotton round from Target. This is the Witch Hazel. You can find this at your local drugstores. This is a pore perfecting toner, fragrance free, gentle skincare, gently cleanses and conditions pores to maintain clear, smooth and balanced skin without over drying 100% natural. I love this stuff and I have seen a difference in my skin since I have been using it. So I just saturate my little pad and I go in all over my face and I rub this in all over. You can feel it penetrating your skin. And I really focus this on areas where I have any sort of breakouts, potential breakouts, where my face is most oily. So you'll see me go around my nostrils, around the forehead, around the brows, and then I do go lightly over my eyelids. And this is like a final step to remove any remaining leftover makeup. But your pad should be pretty clear and pretty clean if you just did all that cleansing. Mine is, and I'm going on my neck just a little bit. You can see that it's mostly white except for this area where I wiped my neck. I also like to go over my ears and behind my ears because there's dirt lurking back there too. But like I said, I'm about to wash my hair and get in the shower, so that'll get cleaned further. But I usually don't shower at night. I usually shower in the morning, which is why this is kind of backwards. But y'all get the point. So after I do that, you can see my skin has a nice glow to it. Yes, and that stuff is amazing. This is amazing. I love it. Lastly, I prime, apply my night treatment and the one product that I'm using at night now is this Garnier, 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 pretty sure it's Garnier, right, right? This Garnier Skin Active Clearly Brighter Dark Spot Corrector. 
that looks like this. I've been using this for about two weeks and I have seen a change in my skin and in my dark marks. So I believe that this works and I can't wait to see what it does over time and with continued use. So I normally apply, they say apply like a really small amount, but you know I'm extra so I apply a stripe to the top and to the bottom of my face or sometimes I'll do this side and that side. It just depends how I feel. And then I go on and I massage it into the skin, making sure to focus on anywhere I have dark spots, which you know for me is the side of my face and on my chin. I don't have as many in the center of my face as I do the perimeter. So I just rub that in. And after I apply my dark spot corrector, I'm done with my nighttime skincare routine. I usually take it down on my neck as well, but my neck is dirty as y'all saw because I'm about to get in the shower and wash my hair and wash my body. But that is it for my face. Makeup wipe, cleanser, double cleanse, do it twice, I do it twice. I usually rinse the face and I usually towel dry my face at night with paper towels. But because of the way I'm set up, couldn't really do that. Have my paper roll of paper towels right here. That's under my sink. Once my face is dry, go in and tone with the witch hazel. And lastly, apply any nighttime treatments, moisturizers that you wear. I just do the clearly brighter dark spot corrector. And I apply it all over my face um, because I'm extra. So yeah, that is it for my skincare. I will show you guys kind of what I do in the morning and the get ready with me that's gonna happen after this get unready with me video, which is funny because everything's backwards. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know what you think about my skin and the progress that it's making. I have a little breakout starting over here, probably from stress, I've been kind of stressed. It's the end of the school year, testing. Um, I have to play for this trip, we're going to Virginia, the middle school's going to Virginia, they asked me to be their accompanist, I'm not a pianist. I've been a little bit stressed, not gonna lie. So, oh, look at that bling, my nose ring, caught the light. Oh, there it is. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about the progress of my skin. Can you see a difference? For those of you that have been watching me for a while, if you look at one of my older videos, where um, before I put my makeup on, you'll see I had a lot more discoloration and hyperpigmentation to my face, and it's gotten so much better. I'm actually comfortable going out without makeup on as of right now, but my goal is not to have to wear foundation in 2018. So we got about seven more months to get right, get tight, and get these dark spots light and bright like the rest of my skin so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this i'm gonna get in the shower wash my hair do all that stuff and i'll be back to do a get ready video with me so you guys see what i do in the morning all right or well even though it's nighttime but y'all know what i mean anyways bye youtube thank you so much for watching stay blessed have a wonderful weekend and i love you all bye bye